Hello everyone. Uh, yesterday on the evening meeting, people were having problems getting into Zoom and also being put into a waiting room. Zoom have changed a number of features on their account and that means you need to do a couple of things to be able to stop that happening when you have your Zoom calls. So I'm hoping that this little video that I'm doing, I've researched it a bit this morning and found a number of ways to do it. So when you go into Zoom, click on settings, scroll down okay and I want you you'll see these have been added if you click these off so it's gray so require a password when scheduling new meetings require passwords for instant meetings and require a password for personal meeting IDs but what you want to do with those knocked off you want to put on embed password in meeting link for one click join okay so put this one on and then also I want to show you one other item if we scroll down down here somewhere is going to be waiting room attendees cannot join a meeting now until a host admits every single person what you want to do is click this off now your settings have been updated so you have two different ways of then doing a zoom call you have this one here and if you click this and give this as an option then because you've now embedded it and people click that link they should be able to get in straight away the other way of course is to make a meeting and if you then say I want to schedule a new meeting so instead of using your individual one you can say here you you're going to be doing say for instance the USA call then if you look down here the require meeting password is not clicked or if it's clicked and click it you will then when you do that if you say then I'm going to save this and this is going to be for uh, tomorrow for instance at 12 p.m. make sure that you unclick the the require meeting password and then save it what you will have then is you will have a link which you can then use to invite attendees. The enable meeting room is off as you can see and it does not require a meeting password. If you then just copy this and put it in for the invitation to the attendees, the meeting password is already in there. I hope this has helped.